The U.S. Treasury working with other federal agencies and banks to stop the flow of opioids and other dangerous drugs into the country. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is announcing new sanctions on a Mexican drug cartel and a new advisory for banks. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said on Thursday that her department had sanctioned eight people associated with the violent Mexican drug cartel. Members of the drug cartel smuggled fentanyl, cocaine, meth, and migrants into the U.S. Atlanta, Georgia, where Yellen was speaking from, has been a hub for them. Yellen said that synthetic drugs not only kill Americans, but also hurt the country financially. The U.S. Joint Economic Committee estimates that the opioid epidemic cost America nearly $1.5 trillion in 2020. And that's why President Biden has directed the entire U.S. government to use every tool at our disposal to combat the opioid epidemic and save lives. Yellen also made note that overdose deaths from fentanyl have increased in Georgia by more than 200 percent between 2019 and 2021. The Treasury Secretary said the Biden administration has increased funding for treatment for people addicted to fentanyl and other illegal drugs. As part of President Biden's unity agenda, the Treasury Department is working with Mexico and China to stop the flow of illicit drugs going into the U.S. We're also engaging with our foreign partners. Last July, President Biden launched the Global Coalition to Address Synthetic Drug Threats that brings together more than 100 countries and 11 international organizations. And counter narcotics is a focus in our bilateral relations, including with China, the key source of the precursor fentanyl. Yellen said her agency issued new guidelines to banks. They aim to help banks monitor how drug cartels are laundering money from illicit fentanyl sales. The secretary said her department is committed to sharing more collected data with banks and emphasized the need for better cooperation.